Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review on the brand new Star Wars Black Series Infinity's Darth Vader or White Vader or Comic Vader or Legends Vader, however you want to call it. He is of course in the amazing comic book packaging that is one of my favorite Black Series packaging designs that they've ever made. I just find it so cool because it kind of reminds me of what I guess plastic free packaging could have been even though this does have plastic is just you know you can't see anything but then you can un velcro it and then you can see the figure but regardless i don't have too much to talk about so without further ado let's get into infinity's darth vader review i want to quickly start off with the box even though i kind of covered it on the front you can see an image with uh, vader kind of just disappearing and leia and luke on the uh second death star infinity's darth vader there you can see vader exiting something i'm not familiar with this but then i think he comes back as the white vader and there he is infinity's darth vader in a galaxy filled with endless possibilities vader duels luke aboard the second death star when leia arrives revealing that she too is a skywalker unable to confront both his children he turns from the dark side he re-emerges as a jedi once more clad in all white so you know clad in all white and that is definitely what he is very very cool figure but uh it's on the re no not the return of the Jedi. the empire strikes back darth vader body so there you can see the similarities so obviously it's the exact same mold there is no differences that i can see besides the obvious one being the the paint <laughs> um but i always thought this this was the best six inch vader that was out or that I own because I don't have too many other Vaders besides Black Series ones. But this is my favorite that I have in my collection. And this is just the same, but in white. And honestly, I really like it. I think this is a perfect figure to put in the comic line because the thing with Vader figures that I think is gets overshadowed and it's the same thing goes with like other main characters is I feel like Black Series oftentimes forgets about them and like will wait three years and not release a figure related to that. And that kind of, that's kind of what happened with Vader because we just, I mean, now we are getting two. We got the Obi-Wan one and this one, but the last one that we got was this one and that was in 2020. So, I mean, it has only been two years, but the thing is, it's Darth Vader. It's a huge deal. So I don't know. I just feel like they don't make, uh, all the main characters as frequently as they should although at the same time i'm happy with what they're doing because i don't think i would want five vaders every freaking two years but uh the lightsaber on the figure is interesting i didn't want to talk about that it is in a orange which i don't know if it's accurate i don't believe it is because i know some people were saying it's supposed to be in another color but I don't know. Let me know what that's supposed to be in the comments below. But there you can see the other uh, Vader lightsaber. This is the one that came with the Obi-Wan Kenobi version. So you can see it's the exact same lightsaber. Well, similar. But this is a downgrade, in my opinion, to the Empire Strikes Back version, which is good because this is not the figure that this body's on. Or this figure is not on the this body it's on this one which is the best one but the thing with this is there really isn't too much to say i mean i think they did a phenomenal job all they had to do was re-release the figure in white with a couple more you know little paint details but uh that was their job and i think they did a great job on it and i don't think you can not deny that it looks great it looks phenomenal i love the silver eyes it looks really interesting on camera, but it might just be me. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You do have his huge cape, which is the size of uh, the moon. And then the rest of the uh, figure is pretty self-explanatory. So without further ado, let's get into his articulation. So the articulation on Vader is the same as the Empire Strikes Back version. But I do want to go over it because I don't know if all of you have that figure. The head goes full 360 and has, oh, yikes, it's like stuck or something. It goes full 360, but that cape does and will get in the way. But uh, he does have this much movement 
for uh, tilt wise because it is on the ball joint, but the head goes forward that much, back that much, uh, and then sides pretty good. So very good Darth Vader articulation in my opinion. And then one thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind is, I think they fixed it on this figure, but uh, some of the older Vaders, this one line of fabric that's attaching the two sides of the cape used to be very, very thin. I think I could show it to you on, what, what, what's a good figure? Okay, yeah, the, the Kenobi version. That is so thin to me. If that was to like rip by any chance or anything were to happen to that, the cape would just basically be screwed and would not be able to go back on. So just, you know, always be careful. I have no idea how I'm going to get this back in, but uh, we'll deal with that later. It's about him. But the arms go out. Uh, that's tricky, but they go out that much. The fabric also gets in the way, but he does have a butterfly joint in there, which is great. And it is more than I remember, so that's awesome. Full 360. And then... There is a single jointed elbow that goes in more than 90, which is great. It also does rotate. Uh, and then the hands go full 360 on a horizontal joint. So up, down, same on this side, up, down, full 360. Uh, you can actually see the butterfly joint here. So not an insane amount of movement, but more than I, you know, more than I need. So that's always great to get with butterfly joints, especially with Vader, because, I mean, you know what? He does get in a lot of poseable things, though, at the same time, so you do need that kind of articulation, but maybe one day if we get, like, a freaking uh, 60th anniversary Spinneret 2-pack Spider-Man articulated <laughs> Vader that poseable with toe articulation, <laughs> but we'll see. Ab crunch goes down that much, back that much, side, side, full 360, but I'm not going to do that because it's kind of not possible with this fabric. I don't actually think you can go full 360 because of that. It will go full 360, but as you can see, the fabric uh, does tear a little bit. Not tear, but twists. So very complicated articulation, I would say, but good nonetheless. Can't really kick uh, back. Goes, does the splits this far. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which goes in a very good amount. And then ankles go up, down, and ankle rocker pivot. So that's great to get. But yeah, sorry, the articulation segment was a little uh, all over the place, but it is a little bit complicated, the articulation on this figure, just due to all of the fabric, whether it's the cape or all of his other fabric throughout. But good articulation, I'd say. Not the best, but very good for a Vader. So let's get on to some comparisons. So I think I got them all in the frame here, but... Here we have all the Vaders in my collection. Well, I have the Bandai model kit one, but I'm not going to bring that one out. These are all the Black Series ones I own. We have the Empire Strikes Back version right here, the Infinities one, the 40th Anniversary of A New Hope from 2017, and the brand new 2022 Obi-Wan Kenobi version. So this is my favorite Vader, and then this one is second. I mean, they're kind of back and forth. Obviously, I prefer Vader and his 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 colors like his normal colors but it is always cool to get something different and especially to see such a drastic uh contrast compared to uh this one is just crazy it's just all white because you always think of vader like this but this is very very cool and i i, I really like it but let's get these out of the frame and do a couple more comparisons here we have the brand new black series dark trooper if you would Hold his gun. Here you can see the Dark Trooper. Here we have a Rebel Soldier. Here we have the comic Leia from the same wave. A review for her should be coming soon, but this is my favorite Leia of all time. Here we have him next to a Death Trooper. Here we have him next to Han Solo and a Archive 501st Trooper. And here we have him next to, blah, 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 looking at my comparison table. This one's cool. You can see how tall he is. There we have him next to the K2SO, which is one of the tallest black series, I believe. Uh, anything else I need to compare him to? I think that's pretty much all, but you get the height thing. Actually, here, I'll compare him next to a Sunfire body mold figure. Here we have Speedball from the new controller wave. So you can see the difference. But that is all the comparisons for this Vader. Let's get on to my final thoughts.
So my final thoughts on this Vader figure is this is exactly what the comic line I think should be right now. Obviously, down the line, I do want us to get all of these awesome new sculpt, new design, new characters entirely. But obviously, they have Hasbro Black Series, the line. They have lines such as this in the gaming grades, so they can, in a way, afford some of the more expensive figures, such as the main line or the deluxe or anything really other than that. And I think that this is reused done perfectly well. It is one of the main Star Wars characters, and you get him in a completely opposite contrasted color which is just absolutely amazing and it's obviously my fear with it was it's so white that it's gonna get like dirty over time or something or it's gonna get yellowed or i have no idea but you know that obviously still could happen i do have like a black mark there but i'm just very uh shocked and happy with the execution of this figure by hasbro they did a phenomenal job on it uh, you do what you get is what you see. So if you like the Vader from Empire Strikes Back, you will love this. And if you don't have that, I believe you'll love this too. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I'm going to give him a 8.5 out of 10. I'm not going to give him like a 10 out of 10 because it is just a reuse. There's nothing really too much to it. It's just a reuse, but in white. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of him in the comments below. As always, I have been Jagger Collector, and I will see you in my next video, which I have so many to make. But until then, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Yes, you know what? Yes, I will see you tomorrow.